right, so what's up guys? How much, as you guys can see, intercoolers in, fuel tanks are in, motor is in, no intake manifold, no exhaust manifold, no turbo, no intercooler pipes yet. We're working on that, so that's all coming. But as of right now, um, we're gonna start on the fuel system because I just got that in the mail. Um, a lot of people have been helping out with the build, so thanks to the people that have been helping. Um, but all right, let's go ahead and uh, look at the fuel system. And all right, so got our fuel system. Um, a lot of stuff came in the mail. Just got some uh, PTFE line. Um, we got 10 a.m., 8 a.m., and I got some 6 a.m. still in the house. So we, hopefully we have enough line. Um, we'll see if not. Um, then two, a box full of stuff. We got a regulator, some pump mount brackets, and we got some new pumps down there too. The big boy 400 liter pumps and a shit ton of AN fittings. So we got a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and uh, I guess let's try to go ahead and lay this out. Um, try to figure out, I think I'm gonna start with the the tanks first and then um, I guess we'll kind of see where we're at. So, all right, let's go check that out. Okay, so we have our fuel system. Um, not kind of too sure how we're gonna do this yet. I know that we have um, we have two tank. We have basically we have the the two tanks. We have two fuel pumps. I got the two four hundred liter an hour pumps. So we got plenty of fuel. Then I got the Y. So we're basically gonna have one pump coming out, one pump coming out, and then we're gonna Y together into one line. Come up here to the fuel line, fuel rail, other side of the fuel rail. Come out. Go try to mount like a fuel pressure regulator or something over here and then dump back into the tank. So we'll have like a complete full fuel system. Only problem is though, if we dump back into this fuel tank, I would need like two return lines dumping back into both tanks, which I think that should work. But the only thing is, it's more like if I put a Y on the return line coming back into both tanks, how do I know that each tank is like basically at the same level? Because if this tank gets more return gas, this tank will run out and then this tank will still have gas. So that wasn't going to work. So I figured what I could do is maybe if we daisy chain the tanks together with just like a big fat line, hopefully if we add fuel to this side, it will level out on this side and then I only need one return line. So all the fuel will dump back in one, but due to fluids, it should level out. So at all times, these should be easy, I mean level, if we daisy chain them together and then we run a pump off of each one. So it'll be two pumps pulling from two tanks going into one tank, but hopefully this line right here should keep the tanks level. So I guess let's go ahead, let's start off with, uh, I'm gonna start with this daisy chain and we're gonna make the, the PTFE lines because these are just some, these are just some regular fittings on here I have on there right now. I don't know if you guys know, but PTFE lines, um, they require different fittings other than these. Um, so you can't use PTFE line with these two. We're probably going to be on E85. These lines break down a lot faster when they're not on E85. So um, probably won't be using these type of lines. We'll only be running the PTFE lines. So, all right, let's go ahead and... Uh, start with this daisy chain thing um i've never made ptfe lines so we're trying something new but all right let's see how we do it all right so we got our i guess we got a 45 on here this is what i'm trying to figure out just how do we angle this because we can either come like out this way see i really this is a problem here i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do here because I got a straight on this one. Either we can come straight out and kind of maybe run it here, or we can like 45 out, but that's kind of too far away from the firewall. So I might need to like angle that down or something like, so uh, this is hard. You know what? Let's figure this out. So we got our lines. Let's go ahead and maybe just lay out all the fittings that we have so I can try to figure out what we're doing first because kind of hard to make a video when you don't even know what you're doing yet so all right give me a second and we have okay everything laid out you kind of see what we got now um because i didn't even know what we had at first so we got 
two ten straights, two ten tight forty fives, one long forty five. I don't know where that came from. Um, the pumps ten in eight out. Our uh, Y pump, the pump holders, the regulator, and then our some straights, eight straights, and well, ten eight straights, and an eight forty five and an eight fitting. So we should have enough to maybe get to the tank. But let's go ahead and lay this out real quick just to get an idea to see what we're doing. So lay that out. All right, laid out. So um, missing some stuff, but at least this is. I'll go over it. So we got this. Let's imagine our tanks are here. We have two tanks. We can either come. This is the only thing I need to figure out. We can either come out of our tank with a straight or a 45 for the daisy chain. Um, I have enough to do either or. I don't have enough to do both, but I need to pick. So we either need to come out with a 45 or a straight because that's going to depend. But see, that kind of messes us up because that means we're either going in our pump with the 45 or we're going in our pump with the straight. I'd like to go in the pump with the straight. So if I were to go in the pump with the straight, we are going to need to 45 the daisy chain. But that also depends on where I mount these pumps. So, but we'll figure that out, I guess. But we got our pump fittings. Uh, our pumps are gonna sit. We have our smaller fittings coming out of the pumps to AM. Why did you send me two different color fittings? I don't know. This one's like light blue, this one's dark blue. Not sure, but okay. So I guess from here on out, we're good though. So we have our filters. I mean, our, what is it? The fittings coming out of the pumps, those connections, those connections into the Y, into that, into the filter, into the rail. And I can either go into the rail with a straight or a 45, I got two. So we do have two eight straights and a 10 45 long left, but, Another problem is we also figured out I don't have pre-filters, so I need to order something to go between here because you want to filter the fuel before it goes into the pumps and you want to filter it again before it goes into the injectors. So we're halfway there, but all right. Um, so I guess because I want to make my daisy chain first to figure out how much 10 a I have left to run for here but I guess I need to figure out where I'm gonna mount these first. This is a lot harder than I thought. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see where we can mount these at, and then let's probably go ahead and make this daisy chain for the tanks. All right. Okay, so cut our line to length. I think this is how long we need it. Think, um, we're winging it all. Cut our line to um, make sure you put these end pieces on before you do this next part, because if not, you're never gonna get one. Two, um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know how the PTFE lines work, but they have basically this, they have basically this little fitting, this little fitting, and then this one right here. So what you do is you slide this fitting on. Over this, you peel this little, uh, the metal back some, slide this fitting on, push this in, and then cut the metal back a little bit. And then you're gonna take this, and then you slide it, and then you screw it all on. So that's kind of how it works. So slide this piece on, cut this back a little bit, push this in there, and then screw it on. So there's a hundred videos on how to make PTFE lines, but that's just how you're doing it. So let's go ahead and let's make this line real quick. Okay, um, let's just say, holy, sh yeah, that took um, a lot longer with no vice, no power tools. Um, no nothing. Um, these are a lot harder to make when you don't have all that. Um, it is possible to do with no vice, no nothing. These don't look scratched up or anything. They, they came out pretty good. Um, so it looks good, not scratched up, clean. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna drop this line in. All right, and lines in. Tanks are daisy chain together. So if you stop by the gas station and you put some gas in this side, it should run over to this side and balanced out. So we should be good to go. Um, yeah, that took like way too long. So let's just say to finish the rest of the fuel system, the car will be done in about two to three years. So I'll get back to you when I finish uh, the rest of the fuel system because that's going to take uh, a long time. 
So, um, actually, I looked at this stuff in here and like how I'm gonna do. I don't even know where I'm gonna put the fuel pumps at. Like, should I mount them under the car, over here somewhere? You know, over here, over there, run the lines up in the middle. I, I don't know. So what I do know is that we need to do the intercooler piping next. So I think what I'm going to do next is um, start the intercooler piping, kind of get me an idea of what I'm doing over here piping wise, and then probably finish the rest of the fuel system up. So I can kind of figure out what angles I need to get out of here, where's the best place to put the pumps, um, and then kind of figure out our routing up to the rail because I can kind of do what I want to do with the fuel system, you know, to get me like where I kind of want to put stuff at, but I really can't just say, I'm going to delete the intercooler piping and run it, you know, this way or whatever. I really can't do that. I have to run the intercooler piping. You know, the turbo is only going to sit in one spot, so I can't just be like, you know, hey, let's just run the intercooler piping here and do it this way. No, that, that doesn't work. So the intercooler piping is going to have to be where it is, but the fuel system can change because that's lines. So um, I think what we're going to do next is knock out the intercooler piping and then we'll probably get back on the fuel system. And two, we'll probably start on this turbo manifold. Uh, go ahead and pick up the turbo and probably start on our intake manifold and figure out a throttle body so we can kind of figure out, you know, what we're doing that way, how we're going to get back here. So, <sighs> yeah, not bad, guys, but we're moving along. So not really much more left to do, just intercooler piping, turbo, manifold, wiring, fuel system. Pretty much done it for that. So, all right, guys, later.